Okay, what's your name? Mm, my name is, uh, my English name is Hannah, and uh, I was named by, um, based on uh, Hannah Montana. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, where do you come from? I come from um, uh, Hop Moon District, which is located in Ho Chi Minh City, and uh, at there you can uh, do many leisure activities uh, because and you can also enjoy the fresh environment. Okay, and when is the best time of the year to visit your hometown? Well, uh, you can visit uh, my uh, hometowns uh, whenever you want because uh, in uh, Hot Mom it's only two main seasons, which is dry seasons and rainy seasons. Okay, and where are you living now? In a house or an apartment? Well, right now I'm living in my house, which is built by my parents because I didn't, I don't have enough money to like buying a new apartment for myself, and uh, I think it's quite com comfortable because uh, I can live without thinking about the price. Uh, thinking about uh, what would I eat today because my mom would do everything for me. Okay, and what kind of news are you most interested in? Um, for me, the news which come from the uh, like the news which is grandma about uh, Hollywood or uh, some story or uh, some news about a single or a famous person life it makes me attracted because uh, I feel like they try to do many silly things to make them uh, popular but they don't know the consequences after all okay. and do you prefer to go to cities or the countryside? well it depends, like I try to like, live in, in the middle of the countryside and the city because uh, like in the suburb because it also have a peaceful and atmosphere but you can also go into the city centre to have money, entertainment, activities uh, but without travel, travel a lot, a long time and uh, also like you live in the middle you can also meet uh, both friends in both areas yeah. and it's a, uh, like a new experience Okay, and <coughs> sorry. do you usually go on holiday every year? Well, when I was young, it was like annuals, but uh, since like I become a secondary, my last secondary grade, it lasts because uh, I have to pay more attention to my, my uh, school, uh, to my uh, study and uh, I have to face a lot of different large exams mm -hmm. and uh, which make me feel uh, exhausted and also um, I think more about uh, the bookies when I would travel and like I can use less money to uh, entertain myself with the uh, small activities than travel uh, uh, anywhere. Okay. Okay, let's move on to part two. Okay, describe an exciting journey you once took. Sorry, let's take one. Okay, I'm timing you. You have one minute.
You have two minutes. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about one of my most exciting journeys I have take I have taken is uh, the one I traveled to her. Uh, I have a chance to travel there uh, with my relatives because her school uh, in, invited her and her family to go with. Uh, so uh, it actually when I was in the secondary school student and it's quite young but uh, they still have a lot of memory that I still remember until Sorry. now and um, the transportations I use at that time were the trains and uh, which uh, like make me more interest because I can see the view uh, can see the see, seeing of uh, the, the scene the the views outside uh, from the sunset to the sunrise and it was well, like a new experience to me and um, one of the most thing that I should mention here is that I can when I travel to her I can visit uh, a lot of mausoleums of the uh, Nguyen King and uh, some temples which is very famous in my country Moreover, I can eat traditional foods, which is my huge interest in my life, uh, uh, such as bún bò huế. And uh, so, uh, the one that I remember most after the journey is that uh, about the nightlife in Huế, because people here live, sleep so early. And uh, when I try to find some entertainment night activities, there like no one, no place to open and like the street is silent and dark. Okay, that's two minutes. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, part three. <coughs> what types of transport are there in your town? Well, in my towns, there are two, three, uh, two main types of transport. Uh, one's a uh, travel by, by motorbike uh, which is like you can see it regularly in Ho Chi Minh City and Mai in Vietnam. So the second one is that the bus because that is like a public transportation that the government will uh, always want you to do to uh, prevent less environmental and yeah there are two men. Okay. And what types of transport do you think we will use in the future? Well, uh, to my imaginations, I guess that in the future we're going to have a fly car. Like, <laughs> there will be, there will, they won't have any wells and it will use like um, uh, solar energies or some natural resources and uh, it can like flies or have a or, like it can fly and travel in a higher speed and it will like less consumptions okay very good um, do you think it's better to rent or buy a place to live in well uh, definitely that I think buying a house is more is more convenient than when you rent a house because uh, when you buy it you can do whatever you want without having a look without having a look of other people's and you don't have to tell them that uh, can I do this or do do that? Uh, that is not very convenient, must. But uh, and also you can uh, like you can choose to live whenever you want, and you don't have to be depends on anyone's because you buy it, and you don't have to like every day, uh, every month you have to pay the a, a small purchase for like you don't have to. It, I mean that uh, you can buy it once and don't have to like separate 
uh, in many periods of time to pay it. Finished? Yeah. Good job. Thank you.